uh, somebody asked me the other day, Bill, what's the greatest miracle that you've ever seen? And I thought, well, the next day I said, I said, Lord, forgive me. And the next day I had a meeting with him. I said, I've got to straighten this out with you. I said, everything God does is wonderful. But I said, the greatest miracle that I've ever seen is when that person received Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. is a whole brand new creature. Welcome to Winning Conversations, everyone. My name is Daniel. I'm here with the Horns. Hello, Bill and Ginger Horn. How are you two? I'm really good. How are you, Dan? I'm doing quite yes. well. Yes. Thank glad you. We are so glad to have you all today. Yes. Yeah, we're honored this to be here. This is a special episode because it's the last mm. of 2023. Wow. You guys are it. Wow. We're finishing on a high note, most Super would say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank I'm you. one of those I people. I like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We are so happy that you're here. Um, I think so. A lot of people know you who have obviously been in the Heritage of Faith community for a long time. They're very familiar with your name and what you guys do. But for people like me who are a little bit newer to the scene, could you give us a quick, brief synopsis of what it is that you guys are, like, what it is that you've been doing here for so many years? Well, it's, uh, it's called Chariots of Light. You know, it's with uh, Dr. Savell. You know, he started this ministry in 1998. We're celebrating 25 years Ooh, wow. this year. Yes. Praise God. This That's is great. 25 years of ministry. So I think we've uh, we've stood the test of time, you know. It's a, and and it's so, uh, it, it, you know, it all started, uh, I believe, when he started. Uh, he, he was flying back from California, and the Lord spoke to him about this ministry. And Philippians 2.15, it may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a dark and perverse world. You know, and everything we do in the Word we of Faith. We shine as lights. Yeah, and we shine, and we lights, shine as lights. Yeah, we shine yes. as lights. Amen. But I think everything we do in this uh, uh, this world, uh, uh, we, we have to shine lights wherever we go because it's a dark world. So little did we know in the Word of Faith that 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 that, that, that Word was going to take us and propel us to work, to really doing that. And and so, uh, yeah, the chariots of light, and uh, uh, we... We've we've had the honor now, and and in the beginning, I said I, I didn't have any idea that we were gonna be winning people to Christ. That wasn't our. That it was wasn't just our fellowship. Purpose. It was fellowship. It was yeah. about yeah. fellowship. Yeah. Motorcycle bikes, just, right? It was just fellowship. Just fellowship. And uh, you know, it's and having the, fun. Yeah, you know, yeah, good time sure. with friends. Yeah. Yep. And the Lord, you know, it's like you know that's what I created you for, was fellowship. Mm. And I think mm. because of some of mistakes we made, we had to get into another mode of operation that's bringing people to Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they got out of fellowship, yeah. Right. but but yeah, it, it yeah. So anyway, the church of light that uh, it's been one of the greatest uh, times of our life, mm. the greatest times of our life to see see God operate in our lives and and the friendships that have formed through that, yeah. and then in turn taken that to the world. You know, because of the camaraderie that's there, because of the friendships, the love. That's what other people see and draws them. We want what you've got. You know, oh sure, yeah, got. yeah. That's yeah. powerful. Yeah. So 25 years as a ministry. You guys have been plugged in for the majority of that, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, 20, yeah. 22 years now. Yes, three and, years. Then, and then we became a director in 06, so we're, we're going into our 18th year yes. for that now. Wow. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Wow. So it's Praise been, God. been amazing. Time flies. Amazing. <laughs> How have you seen the organization, the Chariots of Light Ministry, change over those 18 years? Mm. Wow. Wow. Well, again, it all started with fellowship and just going and having that camaraderie with one another. I believe that uh, of what the Lord's doing in the earth now is one of the most powerful anointings, that corporate anointing, you know, is sharing that love with one another and seeing the love that we have for each other. And I think as we go and have that good time and a wonderful time, then uh, then people notice that and they see that. And what, are you, what is this about? What are you doing? Yeah. And that's kind of what started, you know, the ministry part of it. I mean, I wasn't, uh, if somebody told me that what we do. That we'd get a motorcycle and win people to Christ. Yeah, like, I, no, I, say, I didn't get I a motorcycle. So. The Lord actually spoke to me about getting a motorcycle. And I didn't get a motorcycle to win people to Christ. I didn't. I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So it, right. it, it, it was all about having fun, right. sure, right. Yeah. and riding with your brothers right. and sisters and having fun. Right. Going then, to eat, you have to go yeah. eat. You know, but, yeah, and eat. And eat. <laughs> we this ministry sounds better we, and better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we ride and I eat. We need to get I even got a new revelation on fasting. You get on your motorcycle and see how fast you can get to the restaurant. <laughs> okay. Praise the Lord. All right. Praise the Lord. Fantastic. I don't know Hallelujah. how spiritual that is, but anyway. Yeah, it's somewhere. <laughs> it sounds good, yes. It's somewhere. I know yeah. it is. I love that yeah. definition. Yeah, but no, it's, uh, yeah, it, uh, uh, it was just getting back into that relationship 
and I needed that freedom in my life because mm-hmm. I, I'd actually uh, we we had two businesses and we worked oh, wow. we worked sixty to eighty ninety hours a week. And when you had your own business, you you don't you don't leave it there; it comes home with you. Right. And so, uh, and then we also served in the local church. Our local church, we were we were just servants. We do anything. We we did everything. I said uh, we we were first ones to get there, and so and last ones to leave most of the time. <laughs> And we, I don't know of anything we didn't do in the church. Uh, there was one thing I didn't do. I like to tell people that uh, Ginger, she she worked the nursery, and I didn't do the nursery. I said, I wanted to be like God, and, and I changed not. <laughs> so I didn't want to change anybody in the nursery. Don't <laughs> so, change any <laughs> but, but no, I, lo- I, lo- I loved the, the parking lot was my first job. Oh, nice. And I loved it because I would see people that come into church, and the, the guys in the parking lot, say, park over here, park over and I And I, I said, no park over here and let me help you out. So I, I said, I got to be the first Jesus that they got to see right. mm. coming in. Coming on the property. And so that, that was really exciting for me. And I just, we just loved everything we did. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But well, anyway, so got in it. Yeah, yeah. He, he was always in it. So. But the question about evolving, we saw the, the chariots of light ministry go to a ministry where on our best, it was club and okay. in the world you see that, but we felt like that made it more exclusive. And so, through Dr. Savell's blessing and his agreement as well, he and Bill both at the same time were like, we need to change this to ministry and not yeah. chariots mm-hmm. like club. Yeah. And so we saw that, you know, evolve even more to where we were ministering to each mm-hmm. other as well as, you know, others in the world mm-hmm. too. That's so, awesome. Yeah. And on that note, as a ministry, I mean, I know the outside looking in, it looks like it's just a motorcycle ministry mm-hmm. because you're wearing motorcycles. It's, a, you know, the chariots of light. Yeah. But that's not where you guys stop. Like, mm-hmm. you guys have a much broader approach could you yeah. explain that a little bit because like i didn't know this yeah, yeah. well first of all uh, you know the first person I, I led to the lord was in myrtle beach south carolina and i was actually prompted by the holy spirit because I, I never led anybody to the lord ever outside the four walls of the right. church it's easy in the church you know with the youth mm-hmm. sit down here listen you know <laughs> say the prayer. so so uh, uh but the lord led me back over and i didn't know why and just started having general conversation with this guy take an interest in him and what he did. And, and, and then I found out when you locate people, take interest in people, then they'll take interest in you. Mm-hmm. Well, I had our vest on, you know, chariots of light, Christian bikers. And he says, well, what, what is that about? And I said, oh, man. I said, we just love the Lord. We're just having a good time. And I said, do you know the Lord? And he's, no. I mean, I, I, I was shocked. I had no clue. I mean, I thought everybody knew the Lord. You know, I went to North Carolina, South Carolina. I mean, Billy Graham. I mean, you know, everybody's supposed to know the Lord. <laughs> but the Bible I, Belt there, yeah, right? You know? Target-rich so, environment over yeah, there, you know? <laughs> so exactly. I felt like I needed to do something. Mm-hmm. And at that time, I didn't even know then. I just, I asked him, to, I said, give me your hands. And, I, man, I just started shaking. And it wasn't the Holy Spirit either. It was me. <laughs> you were nervous. <laughs> and, and I finally got the prayer out, led him to the Lord. And I promise you, I felt like I got saved. Mm. It was so intense that I said, can we do this again? Yeah. And, I, and we did it again, and I felt like I got saved again. Mm. But And I told Ginger, I said, wouldn't it be awesome to go around the world and tell people about how good God is, about how much he loves them? And that one changed everything for us. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, the, the broader thing of this is, you know, I, I, I can't ever get away from the one. Right. But now, through the ministry here, now we, we've seen through the team uh, that over half a million people has come to the Lord now. Praise God. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. Yeah. And I remember as a young man, I, I even loving the Lord, I thought it'd be a, great to just be a part of something like this. Yeah. And now we're seeing what he's doing. But, yeah, the, just uh, expanding that and going into other places with that now, I believe that uh, it's not just chariots now, but it's chariots in the church I believe it's the harvest time. I believe the harvest is ripe. It's here. It's always been here. Jesus said it's always here. Yeah. You know, it's we live life. in seed time and harvest, so there's always seed time. There's always harvest. And so so now I believe it's chariots and the church. And so not everybody is, uh, you know, even we're not one-dimensional. God's not one-dimensional. So the motorcycles have been, for all these years, has been our, our road to these people. But it was all facets of life. It wasn't just outlaw bikers. It was we made outlaw bikers in law bikers, <laughs> and, and, you know, and all types. You know, it's just blue collar, white collar. Some didn't even have a collar, but you know, it's just all facets right. of life. So I think because I believe time is our most valuable commodity, and I believe our time is short. Uh, I believe that now, Lord, for the last twenty years we've been in the in the uh, world 
leading people to Christ, that it's time for us to take this into the church, and it's time for every platform, yeah. every platform to reach every person. You may not like motorcycles. I mean, I don't know why, but you may not. <laughs> but whatever you like, just start loving it. Mm-hmm. If you don't like it, just start loving it, and 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 then and allow, let, the Lord let, allow Him. You know, allow Him to start using you. That love. That's if you don't love what you're doing, you, God's not going to be involved. And so you have to start loving it. And then, but anyway, it's chariots in the church. So we're we're doing motorcycle rallies still. We're still going into that avenue. God's placed us there. We're not stopping, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But fruit. we're we're yeah. still going into so new places. Fruit, yeah. And uh, just like this year, we did Harvest Vegas. Uh, it wasn't a it wasn't a motorcycle event. We didn't take our motorcycles. We didn't have our vest on, but we had our best on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was Him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so we went there and we got hooked in with a local church. And this was our very first time. And just a few days there, we ministered to, I think, this is a good number. It was like 1,777 people. Yes. We had 843 <laughs> people receive the Lord. Just a few days. Yeah. That's crazy. But the impact of that was the people that came from the church. Mm-hmm. And we got to share at the church there. Uh, and, you know, what I like to see is if we get to go into these churches and get other churches involved, then we can spend two or three days there and, and teaching on this. And what it is, I, 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 I'd like to say this. If you don't get the heart of something, then you can't be a part of something. Mm-hmm. And God's called every single one of us. He said, this is the one part of the, the fivefold ministry. He said that we all do the work. Right. All do the work. Everybody and I mean, he even told his apostles, right? Mm-hmm. He said, go into the world mm-hmm. and tell them about my kingdom and heal them. Mm-hmm. And so we're seeing miracles happen. We're, I said, but the, uh, the greatest thing of all is, is the miracles. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, Bill. What's the greatest miracle that you've ever seen? And I thought, well, maybe it's when he recreated, re- recreated that guy's kneecap on uh, in New Mexico, or maybe it's in when when the guy got out of the wheelchair, or maybe it's when the guy I, one just brought back another one. Mm-hmm. I said maybe it's when the guy's blind eyes were open mm-hmm. and the deaf ears were open, or you know. And I, I just thought, and 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 I answered him that way. And the next day, I said, I said, Lord, forgive me. And the next day I had a meeting with him. I said, I've got to straighten this out with you. I said, everything God does is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Everything he does is great. Mm -hmm. But I said, the greatest miracle that I've ever seen is when that person received Jesus. Absolutely. It was a whole brand new creature. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just an arm, a leg, a limb, an eye. It was a whole brand new creature. Mm -hmm. And And I said, so everything God does is good and great. But that brand new creation, that's the greatest work. And all the greater works come from the greatest work, mm-hmm. and that's salvation. Yeah. There's no greater miracle that's than, so true. than somebody being saved. That's right. And it's yeah. pretty fun to watch and to be part oh, of God. what God is doing in those moments. I mean, that story really illustrates those beginning steps for people yeah. and people who have never, like, there takes a level of boldness and confidence in Christ to be able to step out and say, well, this is really, this is really the next step. This is what yes. you need. Let sure. me help you get there. Yes. When you talk to churches and you're going into these places, how do you, um, I think the word you used earlier was demystify. How do you break down those steps to make, in order to make it easy for somebody to be bold in their faith? Wow. Well, as a mouthful, yeah, but, no, no. Well, well, you know, but I am yeah. curious because well, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. I, well, you know, uh, I, I like the, yeah, this. Yeah, is, this is please. a sim- simple story. Um, I'll condense it, but to me, I love to share this, and I know maybe some watching have heard me say this before, but it's the starfish story, mm. and it's about the little girl walking on the beach, mm-hmm. and a lot of starfish have been, you know, washed ashore, and there's an older gentleman coming opposite her. And he sees her. She's picking up starfish, and she's tossing them back in the ocean, you know, one by one, just, you know, tossing them back in. And he's just shaking her head. I mean, he's just shaking his head like, poor thing. She doesn't know what she's doing, you know. So he gets closer to her, and, you know, he says, so what are you doing? And she said, well, look, these starfish have been washed ashore. You know, I'm I'm helping them. I'm tossing them back in. He's like, there's no way you can possibly make a difference here. Look at all of them. And she picked up another one and tossed it in. She said it made a difference to that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So instead of us having the, the mentality that we have to reach the world, if mm-hmm. you just realize you can reach one, yeah. mm-hmm. what a difference it makes. Yeah. What a di- Look, you're here, you're one. Right. You're yeah. here, you're one. What a difference one makes when you have that heart, I'm going to reach one. Yeah. I want to mm-hmm. tell somebody about Jesus. And then when you're able to do that, 
you're here, right? Yeah. And so, you know, sometimes too, with different ones asking us about discipleship and things, and, and that's our heart. We want people to continue in that relationship with Jesus, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we have. We're here mm-hmm. today because of that. And so we want people to continue in that. Mm-hmm. But we can't stand over them and make sure, but we do, we do encourage them to continue in a relationship that yeah. it is about having. Just, and we tell them, just like we're talking to you today, talk to the Father. He wants to be a part of your life. And it used to be years ago, talking about one of the things that changed, we used to give out a Bible, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you wanted to give out a Bible, give out, you know, any type of literature. And now, it seems like everybody's got a smartphone, right? So now we'll like, do you have a Bible? No. Do you have a smartphone? Yeah. Okay, let me show you how to get your Bible on your smartphone. Mm-hmm. And so we'll tell them, and wow. that'll pop up Stand every day for you. Bible. You know, for you to, because that's where you can encourage that relationship with the Lord, right? Right. So anyway, praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. Yeah. Everyone matters, everything. Yes. You know, I think one thing I tell people is uh, we never take anything for granted. And when we're, we're teaching, uh, you know, even uh, I say, if you don't get anything, I mean, we, we've, we're learned, we've learned so much from the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, and we're still learning. Mm-hmm. But, but one thing I think more than anything I tell people, there's two things. When I, when I said, if you'll always use the Word of God, then... You'll always be it, it, the word of God always works, mm-hmm. and the second thing is if if you always use the word of God with the love of God, both of those are just aspects of who He is. Mm-hmm. And I said, but of those two, the love never fails; the word always works. And then so we try to get people trained too with that. So if you use those, you'll always be successful. Mm-hmm. His word, and He's the performer of His word. Right. You know, Doctor Savell is his 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 book on sharing Jesus effectively. I've read that it's so many times. Yes, it it's is. helped me so much. But then, you know, I believe that, you know, God always through the Holy Spirit, he, even to the word, you read that word, he gives you more. Sure. And so I believe what really changed uh, our ministry uh, or this ministry and we've seen the multiplication and now sharing that with the church. He made it so simple. Mm-hmm. And so when we was in Sturgis in 2011 up on the hill, we was praying and, and uh, it was five of us. And the Lord, uh, right before I started praying, I said, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me about the hand of God. And I, they said, okay, okay, well, Bill, you spoke to you about the hand of God. What about the hand of God? And so the biggest thing was that we all agreed. We grabbed hands. We even grabbed hands a different way, and we prayed. I said, Lord, you spoke to Bill about the hand of God, and whatever you want to do with it. And so, uh, so it, it just became... You know, it was amazing out that God always confirms the word he speaks, right? right? So we went to the word about the hand, about his hand. And what we really found out was it never was a method. It's always his message and how much the, the, the word of God is full of his hand. You know, the hand where Moses waved his hand or his hands were only had them up or wherever. And we're, what I found out, we were his handiwork. Mm-hmm. And John the Baptist said, the kingdom of God is at hand. That means he's here with you right now. But the Lord spoke to me. He says, I said, what about the hand? We ride my motorcycle. He likes to ride. And, <laughs> and he said, I said, what about the hand of God? He said, when you stretch forth your hand and give them your hand, I'm going to put my hand on them. And they give you theirs. And they give you theirs. I'll yes. put my hand on them. One thing I found out, that was just an entrance way. I said, everything natural, everything we do natural, it has to be natural to become right. supernatural. Mm-hmm. But it was a natural gesture. Being uh, being friendly, right. being kind, smiling, being happy, joyful. Yes. You know, Dr. Savell's book on joy. Yes. You know, you got to be happy Christian, right? right. Mm-hmm. And so gaining interest in So we trained these, trained that into people, you know, and get the hand out. That was uh, ever how that is. Uh, Jeremiah said it's a whole different way. His hand was on his mouth, it's on his lips. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah chapter 1. So to me, in a, sh- in a short, the hand of God is the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. It's the Holy Ghost that's on your life. Mm-hmm. And now we've realized even more when we pray for people. I'm gonna. The word says the believers. I'm a believer to lay hands on the sick, mm-hmm. and they will recover. Mm-hmm. Well, I've just moved my faith to now faith. That's what God's faith is. Mm-hmm. So I just believe the best first all the time, not natural but supernatural. So now I tell people when I put my hand on you, then it, it it's not my hand, mm-hmm. it's His hand. Mm-hmm. But I'm stretching forth my hand, and that's what He said. I'll put my hand on them. So His hand, and when He does. We see miracles. Yeah. We see people saved. Yeah. We see people healed. And where it became hard, it became easy. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we just relate these things, how easy it is. But even then, you said the word bow or bow faith. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I tell people this. 
everything in the world is opposite from the way in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The world's natural. The kingdom is spiritual. Mm -hmm. So you look at it like this. Uh, a bonus in the world is pride and arrogance, right? You agree? Mm -hmm. Bonus in the kingdom is a passionate love. That's the bonus. So we should all. Because God's so loved. Yeah, he's so yeah. loved. And so the passion that we have for him, if you're passionate about someone, you love for someone, you're going to do special things for them. Mm -hmm. He told us to go. And we take that passion in it, and that passion, even with our eyes. You know, I found, you know, uh, if you find this scripture, let me know. But he said, uh, you know, where you bow your head and close your eyes. I, I haven't found that scripture yet. <laughs> it's okay out of reverence, you know, I think. You get sure. that oneness. But even if you're in the world, can you connect with someone? I said, look mm -hmm. them in the Keep eyes. Keep your eyes open. Mm -hmm. sure. if, you yeah. love with yeah. some, if you're in love with someone, look them in the eyes. That's a real, that's a real practical. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just simple. Yeah. It's so right. simple. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even the little things with, with the hand of the Lord that the Lord gave us, uh, locating people, I found out that religious words didn't work. Mm -hmm. And that's why I don't like religion because it doesn't work. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, we base everything on right. relationship. Right. And so if you want to stop me anywhere, I don't know how to stop. No, so well, I enjoy listening to you, but all of the things you're saying are practical. I mean, it's, it's, like, practical. it's like, hey, how are you easy. doing? Exactly. That simple touch and yes. making eye contact, it's even easy. if you're praying. Yes. Um, I work in a hospital. I'm a nurse. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes I'm in, in atmospheres that are tense yes. or, um, or stressful times for the person. Sure. And I have noticed just making contact. Mm -hmm. yes. That's not caregiving contact, not sure. when they give you this medicine, exactly. but like actual caregiving contact. <laughs> just changes the dynamic of the way someone interacts with you. It gives you an opportunity to yes. really see into them. The eye contact thing is huge. Mm -hmm. People really want to, I mean, they want to be yeah. seen. Well, the world wants so, real. I mean, that's the yeah. biggest thing. Yeah. Forget the facade. Everybody's tired of the it. fake, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's so, so they want true. Real. Yes. They want real, but real is looking you in the eye. Yeah. Real is not. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And it goes beyond words. Mm -hmm. Like, words are great. And, and, I mean, the word is the power, right? Yeah, sure. It's yeah. power in, the, in, in your words, sure. but the same time just that presence mm -hmm. of mind which is what opens the door to give be able to have those yes. conversations um <laughs> what questions do you have <laughs> I, i'm so, i was still just kind of processing yeah. but yeah. It, it sounds i mean 20 years in local church just serving 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 yeah and you transition to more or less 20 years mm. out mm -hmm. just on the road on the road doing the Lord's work, like, you know what I mean? And now it seems to be this great transition back into equipping the local church, yeah. like where you started mm -hmm. to do these things. Like that's it's such a beautiful circle that you'd yes. like, you know, hey, I got you here. I trained you here. You were diligent here. I put you out there. You've been doing the work out there. Now I want you to come back and equip the saints mm -hmm. for the things that you've been learning the hard way, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. good, better, or what, you know what I mean? Like you've, sure. And as a power couple, like that's like an unbelievable opportunity. Yeah. Mm. Well, we feel like we've been born again again, yeah. I mean, and, and we're ready to run mm -hmm. uh, again. And it's exciting. Fresh vision. Mm -hmm. To see the anointing yeah. come on others when, you know, you take what you've, you've learned. And, but I tell people all the time, I said, man, look, you don't, you don't put God in a corner. You know, I said, mm -hmm. it's not old school. It's not new school. We're always in school. Always, always. learning. And, and just, that teachable uh, heart, and, and right? Mm -hmm. I don't know of one outreach that we ever did that was the same. Mm -hmm. And we're just always wanting more of him. And you know, Ginger asked me the other day after all these years, and she said, do you know what you're called to do? <laughs> and I thought, this is serious here, you know. And I, and I said, well, I think so, hon. Because I really feel like the, the plan of God, the preparation of the first 20 years was able to step us in to the first really plan for God's, for us for our, our, as our life in, being in chariots. But I, I said, uh, I think so. I said, now, after winning our teams, winning, because we give all the glory to God, yeah. mm -hmm. over half a million people to Christ and over 800,000 people being ministered to, and I believe it's far more than that. And and uh, and I said, I believe, and now God's called us to go back into the church to to, to equip more people for, to, to harvest this greater. We need more people. More we labors, need more harvesters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, I think so. And she said, no, that's not it. <laughs> Thought, you love wives. Praise, <laughs> praise, <laughs> praise God. I, I've got the Holy Ghost and Ginger. H -G -G. Ginger, yeah. <laughs> so, so she says, no. I said, well, what is it? She said, it's to, to know him more. Mm. And it just, uh, yeah. Where would we be without him? We couldn't right. do anything. Yeah. Right. And then we're riding down the road. And after all these years, after all these years, and I was riding, you know, we were driving down the road, and, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And these are things we know. 
I said, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, do you realize that I live on the inside of you? And it just changed. It changed me. I, I knew this. We know that he'll never leave us, forsake us. He's always with us. But So I just started, after all these years, I just separating anything that was left of me and to the left of us. And and even, even uh, we went to a, a planner, a state planner, and uh, we already have the greatest estate. But he said, Is, what's on your bucket list? I said, and our bucket's full. Mm-hmm. There's nothing we want to do but fulfill the the work, the work of the Lord for the rest of our life yeah. and to help others do the same. So what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, your answer was better. Yeah. Uh, so, so, I mean. So, but it's, it's the more we know him. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's so powerful. The more yeah. we know him. And Ginger said this the other day. She is so powerful. She said, the more we know him, then the more others will know him. Mm-hmm. And that's our heart's desire. Not only these great events, every day is an mm-hmm. event. What's your mm-hmm. next event tomorrow, right. today? Mm-hmm. What's your greatest event today? That one person that we go after. I mean, we can go in and get ice cream or yogurt. Right. or mm-hmm. And we just Minister did that the other day, and the lady was by herself, and she said, there's something different about you. Mm-hmm. She said, I felt a genuine. She poured out her whole heart to us. And wanted to, she, didn't, she didn't want to talk to us in the store. She, and she, she wanted to go cameras. outside. She wanted to talk privately. And, and, and she opened up her heart, and, God just ministered, changed her heart Healed right her heart. there. Healed yeah. her heart. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what he does. She does things in her past. And that's oh. what it's about. It you is. Know I mean? it's see, really all we did was approach her by saying, um, you did a great job yeah. today. Thank you for, you know, serving us and, and waiting on us. And said, but, you know, we're ministers of the gospel. Because we all are. We're all yeah. supposed to be ministers. Absolutely. We're ministers of the gospel. And so is there anything that we could pray about with you today? Yeah. Or, you know, do you know the Lord? And. She's like, yes, I do. And so she was real excited. Yes, I do know the Lord. Thank you. I do. Yeah. And Bill's like, so you, you have Jesus in your heart? And she said, I do. I do. And then Bill said, well, is there anything that we could pray with you about today? Yeah. And then she just started crying. Mm-hmm. She just So see, it's, it's the spirit. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. the spirit of the Lord that, that opens their hearts, that ministers to them. So the that's heart. why knowing him more. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's thing, key. The Lord with his word and the presentation. You know, Galatians 5, 22, 23, that's him. Yeah. You know, the fruit of the Spirit. And the more that we get in that, the more we're in him, and the more we deliver him to other yes. people. Never condemn and so, him. And I will say, you you repeat the word that's in, to you, inside of you, to others. Mm-hmm. And it's like the girl, instead of, if there's something I can pray with you for, I've been, the Lord, he's adjusting those things with us now. I, I just said, if he was here right now, standing in front of you, and I say, he is. Because he sent us here. He lives and abides on the inside. What's something that you would desire more than anything? Because he wants to fulfill the desires of your heart. Mm-hmm. And that's when she just broke. And, and she, 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 I mean, it's like, wow, mm-hmm. wow. And, and, and uh, God just shows up so many ways that way. It's so amazing. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys are epitome of, of winning in the kingdom of God and winning in life because of the God on the inside of you. Mm-hmm. Um, we always ask this question. It's one of my favorite parts Best of the part. podcast. <laughs> um, because you guys know the theme of Dr. Seville's ministry, yes. of Heritage of Faith, of Chariots yes. of Lights is making winners in life. Mm, right. And um, besides being plastered all over the building, it's also plastered in our hearts. Yes. Um, mm. You've pretty much answered this, but will you take a second and answer what does that statement mean to you, making winners in life? Either you both can answer it. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the one time I was like, no, yes, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> to me, everything. I mean, yeah. without the Lord, we couldn't do anything anyway. So to be a winner is to be able to have that peace, to be able to share with someone else, to be able to have a relationship with my husband, to be able to have conversation with you. It's having that peace and that assurance of knowing that he's always with me, knowing that I've always got him with me, his word. So by having, by having a foundation of his word, then there's no way you can lose, yeah. right? Great. So, yeah. Well, that word is uh, uh, advancing, right? Advancing. Yeah. Advancing. Yes. And, 2024 word. Uh, you got to yeah. answer the question first. Yeah. You got to do well, I mean, but, <laughs> what, but, but, How do you see but, winners but, in life? But, it's all going on but, in here. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> well, you know, number one is I think with Dr. Savell, I mean, you know, he, uh, the, the the favor that, w- that we have just being hooked up with him and then. Uh, just being connected with him and the trust that he has instilled in us to fulfill the will of God on our lives and, and being a part of his ministry. And, and we're definitely connected there. But 
you know, then the message he has a winning. And we didn't know that that winning was going to turn into the number one thing that God loves more than anything is winning people to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we look at the world the currency is funds and having fun, but God's currency is people. And there's nothing more valuable to him than people. And I think the greatest thing is he showed us how to win people. And the more people we have that know him, that it can come to him, then we please the Father. And so there's there's, there's nothing greater than winning someone to him. So it's, it's the greatest thing, the greatest thing. Freely we receive, freely it, it, His heart is, is to be winners. And so... Praise the Lord. How will they know unless we tell them? Right. Amen. Amen. That's really great. You can really see your passion for yes. passion, but compassion mm-hmm. for people, for people who need to know what we know. What we take sometimes for granted right. is the relationship we have with the Father, yeah. the God of all the universe. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys from mm-hmm. us oh. for being um, salt and light mm-hmm. and being people we can look to in the body of Christ that are doing the work of the ministry on a daily, daily basis. Yeah. And that, not that it takes away from your title or your position, but you're doing it every day. Mm-hmm. You're doing it in, in, in just being who you are, which is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And we love it. And thank you for being on our show. Yeah, thank, thank you for so, having us. We're so blessed. Thank this you. is how you close out 2023. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This is how <laughs> you put watch. a bow on it. Right, right. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you, guys. Yeah. This is a Are you looking blessing. forward to 2024? Yeah. Very oh, much yeah. so. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, the year advancing uh, and progressing. Yeah, and the yes. year our greatest expectations to be fulfilled. Mm. And wow, I just here yeah. we go. Here oh we go. Lord. And encouraging others now, talking about going into 2024. So make a point. This year I'm going to witness more. This year I'm going to be a light more. This That's year I'm so going to make a difference in somebody else's life because somebody made a difference in mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody made a difference in sure. mine. Yeah. For sure. Well, thank you again yeah. for being here. Oh, it's an honor for us. Thank yeah. you for asking thank us. You. Thank you. Oh, we were so blessed to have you. Catch you while you are in town, for yes. sure. <laughs> we want to thank our audience for watching, catching us. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, um, YouTube. You can catch the the visual version of the show. And we're going to put the Chariots of Light statistics, some of the key numbers in the show yeah, notes. Absolutely. Yeah. So you guys can truly see the impact they're having Good. on the nations, and I, you, we literally mean the nations. It's you can't understate what they've been doing. It's unbelievable. You know, I'm we so also worried. should link the book that you mentioned because I've read "Sharing Jesus Effectively." Also, yes. one of Doctor Savell's books. Yes. Put the link so they can purchase that. Yes. If they're looking yes. for some, it. some rich show notes, guys. Some yeah. additional reading. <laughs> yes. If you're listening, fantastic. But we need to get some reading going. Yes. Right? right, and they'll be in those show notes also. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so thankful for you, and we are looking forward to jumping into 2024 with yes. our next Winning Conversations episode. That's we have fun. something super special for you all. Yes. So make sure you start the year off right with us. Also, so. Happy New Year, and we'll see you next year. Happy New Year. Uh.